<laughs> yeah, Lisa. Yep, I was having an amazing week. So, no, I'm good. I'm good. All right. I'm just laying out my newspaper. Now, it's going to be hard for me. i got to make sure that I'm trying to make sure that we follow this whole thing as we go. Um, do you want me to tell you the I'm going to, that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you the colors as we go. Look at all these colors I got. I just went in and robbed my, my color stash. I got one for every one of these palettes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You don't need that many colors. Um, you don't need these colors. You can choose the colors you want. You can go with, now I'm using the teals and the blues and gray. You can do yellows and gray. You could do um, like denim blues and reds. You can certainly do that. Um, thank you. I like that banner too. So I did do that on a live. So, um, you could do uh, pinks. And you know what? If you, again, you know how I always say that fabric is what really draws me and how I inspire from fabric. If you take a piece of fabric of, that you really, really love, pull those colors out of there and do the same thing that we're doing, and you know it's going to look good. It's all together in one fabric, so it's going to look good. I am doing well, Kathy, and it was an amazing week. Thank you. And I thank everybody on here. Everybody here made me feel so good. 60 wasn't so bad. Everybody made me feel good. Everybody in my work made me feel amazing. My family made me feel amazing. So um, it really was a good week. So, all right. So, okay. So glad you're painting. Can't wait to see your craft tonight. All right, Lisa. I'm excited to do it too. There's the clock. Yes. So, all right. So let me go through the colors and then and like said, we're, we're sort of striping it up here. Um, they're going to blend together. I mean, I think it's going to look really cool. Um, this almost is like a nautical color combination that I've got here. If I had seashells or something like that, I would probably add them on, but I don't. I'll be 16. To, oh, Mary, well, happy birthday. Happy early birthday, 60 in two days. So thank you, everybody. All right, let me just go through. I'll quickly say the colors. And every one of these is Deco Art Americana except for one. We've got Deco Art Slate Gray. Deco Art Sweet Mint. This is one of my favorite colors. It reminds me of mint ice cream, mint chocolate chip ice cream. Um, this is Deco Art Blue Haven. Deco Art Blue Harbor, Deco Art Gray Sky, and this is Anita's, it's a light turquoise. And then Deco Art Baby Blue, and Deco Art Bahama Blue. Now don't go out and buy just these colors. If you have paints, Pick out colors that are sort of a similar palette. Like I said, go find fabric or find scrapbook paper, um, a blanket, something that you love. Pull those colors out. Just bring it right to you by all your paints and pull those colors out, and you can do the same thing. So, hi, Agnes. Are you? Hello, hello. And then Jennifer was out here. You got you ladies. Please go out and drop your links for your Facebook pages um, or whatever pages you have. Go ahead. Drop your links. Anybody who's crafting out here, please do that. Um, and let's go out and support them also. Okay, so drop your links. Okay, so I'm going to do... I'm going to move this a little so I don't get it on there. I'm just going to squirt a good amount of each one. And I'm going to still try and keep them in order. And we're just making a little palette of it. I hope all these colors are good. Oops. <laughs> oh, now that I speak that, let's see if we can pour it out. There we go. Oh, we got a little clumpy in there. Maybe we'll put a little extra just so we're not by that clump. I should close these up. All right. Oh, I miss I miss the comment April that you had there. Hi Debbie, how are you? Drop a link, but that's not far yet. All right, Debbie, that's awesome. Debbie is on my team, and 
Um, she also has, um, so she's been doing Magnolia. She's just starting it. And she also has her own business um, um, auction and sales, right? It's, I stopped in and saw, it was um, estate sales and that that she does. I stopped in and actually saw her one day when I saw a sign. She's from a local and I got to meet her. Yeah, Leanne, I love these colors too. Yeah, and you know what? This isn't technical painting at all. Uh-oh. It's not technical painting at all. Anybody can do this. I'm not, uh, I'm not technical at all tonight. We're not shading. We're not doing anything. We're just, just throwing paint on. All right, so I'm going to use just a sort of wide brush like this. I'm just starting on one end. And I want to make sure I get the ends. And we're doing sort of stripes again. So I'm just going to make sure... We get the this end because this is where I'm just going to start and go right across. So you can sort of plan what colors you want ahead of time. And I always brush down. If this is the back, I brush down. That way the extra is on top and you can just even that out. Otherwise, you got that extra on the bottom and it's harder. Then after, you'll want to paint that whole back where I don't want to paint the back. All right, and then I'm just going to go through and isn't this easy? We're painting stripes. I'm not going to rinse out the brush in between. We're going to sort of blend it together. Make sure that matches up. And I just did what I told you not to do. All right, so now I'm going to dip in the teal. Same thing, and the stripes can be different sizes. And blend it into the next one. This is actually a really quick project too. Blend it into that next one. We're gonna pick up some of this light blue. We'll make this one a little skinnier. No rhyme or reason. there so aren't those I mean you just you're just blending it together I'm trying to get up a courage I'm retired but work seven days a week oh Debbie yes you put a lot of time in with yours right Debbie, you can do this though. Whoops, I forgot to actually do this light blue on the edge. Got a little. That's okay, some of that teal picked up with it, but that's all right. go on to a gray. Ah, oh, 12th grandchild, how exciting. All right, and I'm just gonna do this on each side so I don't forget. This one's gonna be a skinny, a skinny one. Again, no rhyme or reason what we're doing here. But then just sort of blend that in so that it's going into the other colors. Start this teal. And just make sure you get the sides. Again, I'm not rinsing the brush out because these colors are all sort of similar and it's blending them together. I might even have every color on my shirt when we're done tonight. I will get a little messy, you'll see, but all in fun. All right, teal, then we're going with the blue. Agnes. Yeah, Agnes is also a creator, Debbie. Yep, and that's what she's, 
I see that she's out here. She has such great ideas also. All right, just adding that teal to come in. Okay, let's get back to my blue. And the last one is a lighter teal. Did you paint the the? Did you paint the surface? Are you asking? Did I paint the? Are you seeing the surface? This what I'm painting now. I'm a little confused by that. The surface first. No, this is just wood. This this is just wood. I got this like that from Hobby Lobby. And I'm painting it now. No fancy painting. All right, so now I'm gonna just go back and we're gonna start with the gray again. Like I said, you don't have to do these colors. This seem, this really reminds me of nautical, but I don't, don't know why. Let's do this one a little wider. into the teal. Okay, I see it. It wasn't easy and still not, but it's scary. It isn't. It's scary starting new things. It really is, right? I see Agnes is still working with Debbie on that. Okay, blend it together. Let's go to the next one. This blue is so pretty. Just got some on my arm. Yeah, it's ocean beach colors. That's what it reminds me. It's like your nautical ocean. Isn't it pretty? And it's gonna blend a little more together when we're done with that. Okay, so now I need, oh no. Now I need a little bit of this darker. Yeah, I'm just following up the sides. Blend it in. I'm working sort of quick so that I can keep blending these. And isn't messy sort of in? <laughs> Maybe. All right, blend that. Um, let's pick up that was that color. Let's pick up some of this blue here. A little of this teal here and we're gonna end it back off almost on my clothes <laughs> so thank you for the hearts all right so and then we're gonna end it back off with a gray that was really really close Throwing crafty servings around. Thank you so much. I almost threw crafty servings around here. This was almost on top of me. That wouldn't have been pretty. <laughs> All right. Got some paint down on there. All right, so let's just lay this back down. I'm just gonna try and wipe through a little bit now with this dry brush. I'm not adding any more. Just adding a little more color in between. Okay, so this is what we got so far. All right. We're done with all of that paint. Did you get any paint on your Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> 
It's an old, it's an actually an old, it's like a sweatshirt. It's like a sweatshirt and it's acrylic paint. You know, honestly, I have this product called Whip It. That's like a, I think it's like a non-toxic kind of thing. And you can use that on there and it takes out acrylic paint. I did that on a sweater I think I got from Brooks store and it actually, yeah, but it, it actually took it out. So I'm not that worried about it and it's an old black shirt. Okay, so done with those colors. All right, so I'm just gonna hit this up with a little bit of drying. Oh, thank you, Mary Lou, so much for the stars. I appreciate it. Thank you, Diane. So we're gonna just do a little more blending yet. Um, I'll show you something else, I'll bring it together. Okay, I just want to, I'm gonna grab another brush. There's a little bit of glopped on those edges there. Um, I'm sorry, you can't see. A little bit of extra glop hanging up on them. Okay, now we'll dry. Right. So did you all have a good weekend? Uh, it's funny this morning. Thank you, Mary Lou, for passing it on. I appreciate that. Okay, um, and starting April 1st, I'm going to do a little bit different with the Happy Mail. There will be a Happy Mail in each live, but then I'm going to be putting names in all through the live, and we'll do a big drawing at the end of each month. But for tonight yet, yeah, let's do two Happy Mail. It's my birthday weekend. Aw, thank you, Stacy. I appreciate it. You're as young as you feel, right? Some days, holy man, I feel older than 60. Right, so I just want to make sure this is really good and dry. You can let it dry. Um, it's acrylic paint, so it dries pretty quick. Yeah, I love the Caribbean. Yeah, it is like a Caribbean pink color. I said, but you can tweak this to any look in your house. Um, you can do pinks and greens and yellows, something like that. You can do the taupes and browns. Um, that would be beautiful. You can pull, take fabric, like I said, I'm inspired by, by fabric. Take fabric that you love or a blanket that you love, pull those colors out of there. Um, you know that that's what it is. Thank you, Della, I appreciate it. All right, thank you for the birthday wishes. Thank you, Agnes. So it's been a long week, honestly. It's been a long week, but I'm happy. I'm so excited for Alva and all the other people who won prizes. All right, so it's dry. Okay, you want to go and dry. Next, okay, you know how we always use Waverly Wax um, the, for staining the antiquing wax? We are going to use the white wax tonight. So it's Waverly White Wax. Um, you got to shake it up or stir it up, whatever. And normally the way this reads of what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to put it on. You're supposed to let it on um, a thin layer, let it on for 24 hours, and then buff it out. We're not waiting. We're going to do some buffing. Okay, the other thing that we're going to be putting on here, which I'm going to also um, put a little bit of this wax on. And it's not going to stay on real good, but after I'm all done, I'm going to spray with a clear acrylic sealer, and that'll keep it on better. But I just want to dull it down a little. I don't necessarily want it that color, but we're putting this welcome. You get these at Hobby Lobby, and this is going to fit on here really, really perfectly. All right. And they have other, they have, I think, Gather, Hello. Thank you, Linda. What type of paint? 
what um this okay the, most of the paint that i used was just acrylic deco art okay and just multiple colors of the teals and the blues and grays um, I can I went through at the beginning so if you want to rewatch um, or I could go through at the end and name every one again I did it right at the beginning so that you could see the colors I use but I just picked them out of my drawer um, you don't have to use these colors just pick you know what colors work for you yeah I think it's gonna be really pretty too Lisa all right so this is more of a creamy color oh let's see how can I get it just so you can see it I feel that light plays havoc and I don't know why. All right, so I'm also using, now I picked up a whole pack of brushes. Of course I got the wide ones. So I have to trim them off. They don't fit in there. I didn't know they were wide when I bought them. Ooh, it catters to Jimbo's eyes and it's not bad at all. Um, somebody, Mary Lou, you're having cataract surgery. My mom had two cataract surgery, one on each eye this year, this last year. So, and she did well. So, all right. So I'm going to do, um, let's, let's just do, I'm going to do this welcome first and set it aside and you can see it's like this creamy color. Just gonna set it aside for a minute. Try and let it dry a little. It is not going to stay on. It, it's a wax, but I what my goal is is to dull it down. And we're actually gonna wipe some of it off when we're done. But so you don't want to put your fingers on top. You're gonna be just taking it right back off if you do. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that sit on there and hopefully dry a little bit. We'll set down the side and then that's what I'm gonna do on here now it's going to be you'll see how I'm doing that but we're we're not letting it dry overnight it says 24 hours to let it dry and then buff it we're not doing that I'm just putting it on and we're gonna be wiping it back off and this is the messy part so um, I'm gonna do it all the way around to Back. Trust me, you're going to see it. You're going to see the colors. I mean, it looks funny. You could also get away with doing this with um, maybe a whitewash, use white paint, and really make it watered down. You could probably get away with doing something like that on here. All right, I'm just going to go around and do all these sides. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a... Has anybody used this wax before? I mean, you always see the dark wax. You always see that for staining. I've had this here a long time. I haven't used it much. I think I maybe used it in one other live. Okay, so that's all I'm doing with that. Now I'm gonna take paper towel and we're gonna be wiping it off right now. I'm gonna start on this other side. I'm gonna try and keep my fingers on the side of it so I'm not getting the fingerprints on the top. It just dulled it down a little. Let's see if I can, that light, I'm gonna end up turning the light a different, um, turning it down some, but wipe off a lot of it. You can even go across. I think my water is gonna be, this is spilling when you're doing this. See, and you can see there's, if you get fingerprints, you gotta make sure you wipe that on the edges there because you'll see that. Thank you, Heather. So yeah, just wipe. Wiping most of it off. But it just dulled it down and blended it up a little bit more. See, 
I'm going to try and adjust my light. Maybe that'll help. There. Can you see that a little better? I don't like that shadow that we're getting there, though. Let's try doing this. We still got a shadow there. Urgh. I'll figure out these lights sometime. I thought the sides. I said, you will get dirty doing this. And like I said, on the edges, if you might see your fingerprints, so get that wiped, wiped off and you're getting it on your hands. That really blends. It tones it down some and really blends it out. So I wish I could get away from that. Um, what if I turn, if I turn this light off? No. Oh, up here. There you go. How's that? Is that better? I'm gonna take this light off here and then you won't have any shadow. It's just, but there now you don't have a shadow is that better all right so now I'm just going to grab that metal this stainless steel that I did again most of it will come off um, it just will dull it down a little bit. And if you spray it with a clear acrylic sealer when you're done, um, that will help keep some of that on. And I would do a matte finish unless you want the shiny. You could do shiny on the whole thing when you're done. And you could spray it when you're all done. You don't have to do it now. Okay, and it just dulled it down a little bit. Thank you, Lila. All right. So I don't know if you can see, I mean, I don't know if you can see the difference. It, it honestly, it dulled it down a little. I don't know that you're gonna be able to tell with this kind of light where the other side, it just has that, a little bit of that wax on and it, it just dulled it down a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna clean up a little bit. And then we're going to put it together. This was actually really quick, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it's a big difference. Um, again, with the, the light is a little bit funny on it. Hey, Carrie, how are you? Carrie, drop your link to anybody else out there that didn't drop their crafting link. Please go and do that. want to get a lot of that off. I did have a good birthday, Missy. I had like a birthday week. I felt so guilty because on here and on my regular Facebook page, I posted the balloons and the, my decorated office that um, my co-workers did for me. Well, I have off on Monday, so they did it on Tuesday already, and they knew I was going to be off on my birthday on Friday. So they did it on Tuesday. They thought they'd celebrate the week with me. Well, I posted them on Tuesday night. Everybody thought it was my birthday. So I had to come back on and say, well, it's Friday, so you can wish me it again. All right, there's Carrie's Facebook page. Yeah, it really blended it well together, okay? Isn't that, I love it. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And this is going to be going on here, but we're going to do one thing before we do that. Again, we're going to um, spray acrylic sealer over the whole thing. It will go straight on here. I don't want to touch my fingers too much because that is a little bit wet yet. I think I'm going to see if I can dry it just a tad bit. But I will spray a clear acrylic sealer on it. 
when it's all done. So again, um, stick on. I'm going to scroll comments at the end. We'll pick out two. Happy mail at the end. Um, I'll scroll, pick your name. Please private message me your mailing address. And then the deal is I would like you to do a random act of kindness for someone. Yeah, I think the lighting is actually better with that off right now. Yeah, Debbie, it is. Thank you, Janet. All right, so just dried it up a little. And like I said, it toned it down a little bit. This was what it was, and this is what it is now. It just toned it down a little bit. And it sort of brought it together with this, having that wax on there also. All right, so next... Of course, we need some jute. Um, we're going to put a little bit of jute on each side. I'm just going to wrap it maybe three or four times. And we'll tie it in the back. Thank you, June. Do you love a toned down? I do love a toned down too. Like I said, you can use any colors. You can go your taupes and browns um, and even add some golds in there. That would be gorgeous. Um, you could do your um, pinks and greens and yellows. You could do your grays and yellows. Whatever colors you have, um, grab fabric or scrapbook paper or a blanket that you love and pull colors out of there. Um, just make sure when you do this, you leave your hangers that are on the back here. They come with hangers. Make sure you leave that open. They do have to hang on there. All right, so I'm going to peel the sticker off. If you didn't see from the beginning, this is from Hobby Lobby. Um, it looked like this, plain. They were $5.99, and every three weeks or so, it goes on sale 50% off. Okay, so we're going to do this side also. Let's wrap it around. Let me just see what I'm doing. And if you, if you really prefer, you can do it exactly the same as both sides. It doesn't matter that much to me. Of course there's going to be a button involved in here. Are you kidding me? Oh, I had to... Uncover my baby ducks. One must be afraid of the dark. Making so much noise. Oh, no. Oh, Cheryl, take care of those baby ducks. All right. So, we just sort of, let me just move this one, shift this a little bit. So, I just did that on both sides. Just random, random. Um, let's, we're going to go ahead and put the welcome on and I want to make sure that I have the hanger. Okay. This one is a little loose. I'm going to just retie this one here. Thank you, Nalda. I do love those colors too. You know what, Jackie? My thought was, and I said that at the beginning, is that it would look so cute with seashells on here um, when I'm done, but I can't find my seashells. I told my husband I was looking before. I'm sure that I have some here. Um, I don't know where they are. Absolutely, seashells would be very, very cute on here. Just trying to tighten this one up. Okay, I think I got it now. Hi, Carla. Yeah, beach trip. I wish I lived by a beach. Well, we don't live, I guess we're like 10 miles, but our beaches here don't have like your beaches, probably. Okay, I'm just adjusting it a little bit. And what I would do, what I normally do when I wrap jute on things, 
I usually will put um, dabs of glue on this back. Actually, I'll do that to hold it where I want it. So I put it right on the back edge. Making sure. That way you don't see it, but yet it's being held in place. Do this side too. All right done. I have some nautical netting. And you know what? Netting would be awesome. I did have some ribbon um, that looks nautical the, or the jute. It looks like a big ribbon, but it's the big nautical um, ribbon. It's, it has the open spaces, but I tried putting that on here and it was too big for it. So the netting would be awesome with it, though, I think. Okay. Just making sure this dries before I flip it over and I don't want to pull up paper. Okay. Just gonna stick this under here so it doesn't stick. All right, so let's um, try and center. We're gonna put some hot glue on here too. If you're afraid of it, um, Coming off, then use E6000 in places too. I'm just putting a little bit in areas. Okay. And try and center it up. You know what, you really do need the E6000, I think, because the metal is cold. Well, it's sticking, but I would put some E6000 behind it. I know I'm gonna be able to lift this up. Because it doesn't stick on the metal very well. But you're gonna get the gist of it. I don't think it's gonna fall, it, it, yeah. <laughs> so I am gonna get E6000. We're gonna put that on there, all right? Um, I'm not going to do that right now. Let's finish it off. Hi, Lauren. All right, so buttons. I just went through and picked some ahead of time, and we'll see what we do. Okay, I'm going to just set this to the side just because I know I have to peel all that off. Um, my thought is, well, and we got to sort of see what that looks like. My th okay, so we could go with the browns, which would be sort of cute on here, but I do have like some of these that I could do. These are the colors that are in here. I think I'm leaning towards doing that. Um, I've got that, and then I've got a couple of these that are like this with, with the more of the brown. So I'm going to lean towards that, and I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Um, be done just getting on what did I miss you missed me painting a sign this is more of a nautical sign but you can certainly do it any colors you want to match your decor thank you Ava and let's put this one over here let's turn it so it's Okay, so that's where it's going. And then I'm going to do opposite. So that one is on top. I'm going to do opposite. I'm going to put this bigger one on the bottom. And these are all colors that are in this color scheme that I did. And then I've got two of that one that was on there. The decorated seashells mermaids, but she probably I'm going Oh, awesome, Deborah. I'm missing some of the comments there. But yeah, do this again. And yeah, I thought too, I it, I know I have some seashells here. 
I don't know where they are. But this will be cute. Now, I'm going to just hold the welcome by because they ain't going to stay. I need E6000. Okay. Um, all this is going to peel right back off of here. It ain't going to stick. And also probably because the wax is a little bit, I mean, it's not wet, but because of the waxing and because of how cold the metal is, when it, it it's already, by the time I'm done putting it on, it's already coming off. So let me just show you. We'll show it to you like this. Okay, so here, I can sit back like this. <laughs> it's a long sign. So I can show you up close the colors. So didn't that turn out cute? So, and you could put that above a window. You could put it, you could probably put it outside, just seal it really good with a um, good sealer, good clear acrylic sealer. Um, like I said, make sure you're going to be using E6000 on here, not just hot glue, because that really doesn't work on metal. Thank you for all the hearts. I appreciate it. And absolutely, seashells. That was really my thought, and I looked for them, and you think I could find them? No, I couldn't find them. But yeah, cute little seashells would be cute on here, just in a couple different places. Maybe a couple little pebbles, um, a little, little bit of stones in a couple places would be really cute. A little bit of sand sprayed in a couple places would be really cute. Just dabs of glue with some sand in. All those are ideas for the nautical theme, but this doesn't have to stay nautical. You can do whatever colors you like to make it match in your home. So everything here is Hobby Lobby. Well, the buttons I have here, so I, I'm not sure where they all came from. The sign was well, Hobby Lobby. This wood was Hobby Lobby. It looked like that. It was in the wood pile. And we just painted it up. All those paints you can get at any store. So, all right, should we do?